Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to upgrade the firmware of your internal multi-protocol module. I will do this on my jumper t light, but it will work the same way on any radio with an internal multi-protocol module, like the jumper T16 and others. The main reason why you want to do this is if you have a FreeSky receiver which is running the latest V2 version of the ACCST firmware. Updating the module will not help with access receivers, those will probably never be supported by the multi-protocol module. So if you cannot bind to your XM Plus or RXSR receiver, updating the internal module might help. Obviously you could also downgrade your receiver, but if it is buried in your RTF cord, updating the module will be the quicker option. Also do not worry about your current binds, those will still work after updating the module. First check which version is currently installed on the microprotocol module and if there is a newer version available. Long press the model button and make sure you have a model selected which uses the internal module. Short press the model button and go to the setup screen. Scroll down or up to internal RF and check status. As you can see the internal module is currently flashed with version 1.3.1.78 AETR. Go to the multi-protocol download page, link is in the description, and see if there is a newer version. The latest stable version is 1.3.2.86, so it makes sense to update the module. In the multi-module selection dropdown, select the radio you have. In my case, it is the Jumper T-Lite JP 4-in-1 module. On the right side, leave everything at default and just select the channel mapping of your choice. I will go with AETR since it is the one which is currently installed. This should limit the file selection to a single bin file which you are going to download and save to the firmware directory of the SD card on your radio. Unfortunately the default name is too long and it will not display the file on the t light so I just shorten the file name before saving it to the SD card. Should you not yet have your SD card prepared, check out my video on this topic. With the SD card inserted, power up your radio, long press the system button, go to the second page, scroll down to firmware. Long press enter on the file you want to flash and from the drop down select flash internal module. This will take about a minute to finish. Once done, check the status of the internal module as described before. As you can see, the version is now showing 1.3.2.86. That is it. You should now be set up to bind with the latest ACCST FreeSky firmware. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also, like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget, I'll be back.